Hello YouTube, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews. <clears throat> just had to, uh, just got back from the DMV. Um, <clears throat> when I was heading back, uh, I was in uh, uh, Cocoa, Cocoa, Florida, and this happened a while ago. Just brought it back to mind. Um, I got a speeding ticket. It was like 10, 10 mile an hour over it was like 75, I was doing, uh, I don't know, like 85 or 90 in a 75. And uh, I think they reduced the ticket to 10 mile an hour. Um, so when I got back to uh, my home, I immediately went got a uh, cashier's check and I mailed off the ticket because I didn't want to get my ticket suspended or my license suspended. And um, had it all to take care of, kept the receipt just to make sure, kept all the documentation, made copies, and uh, a couple weeks later I got a letter in the mail that said my license was suspended, and I was like, what the heck, because I don't get many tickets, and when I do get a ticket, I take care of it immediately. So I called down to Tallahassee, and uh, I told them what the situation was, told them I had a letter in the mail, my license was suspended. I wondered why, and uh, I told them I had sent sent the information. Everything was taken care of, and uh, they said, "Hold on, please, Mr. Walden." And uh, they said, "Oh, there wasn't there wasn't a check in the envelope for some reason. There wasn't no check in there. Everything was in there but the check." I said, "That's funny." I said, "I have a receipt right here." And uh, I got documentation that proving that there was a check in there, and you guys cashed the check. Or, and uh, so, you know, just to see what the response was. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Waldman. Hold on, sir. Uh, just a moment, please. It wasn't even three or four minutes. Uh, the operator got back on the phone and told me that they had found the envelope, and they had pulled and pulled out the check in the envelope they I guess they didn't see the check at first or um, what my <laughs> what I can't figure out is out of all those checks and all those envelopes and how did they find my check in my envelope so quickly and come back to the phone so quickly and confirm that that check was in the envelope I think that uh, this is just a fundraiser. So basically, they send out letters telling you your license is suspended because you didn't pay your fine or you didn't pay your fee. So basically, if you pay your ticket, <clears throat> they make a lot less money than basically uh, suspending your license and then you having to renew your license and then all the fees and stuff on top of it. So, I don't, I don't believe that um, out of thousands and thousands and thousands of envelopes that someone can locate, first of all, send you a letter saying there's no check in the envelope when there's only two pieces of paper in the envelope. One is the ticket, one is the check. So, we're, what, they're going to keep a big pile of envelopes somewhere and file them so that basically they can uh, turn around and, and have access within a few seconds of your information in all those envelopes. I don't know. I just think it's a scam. Uh, I believe that uh, they just have, <clears throat> it's a system, it's called a fundraiser. And they send out all these, whoever gets a ticket, uh, regardless if they send their money in or not, they send out a bunch of letters saying that your license has been suspended and what it is, <clears throat> a lot of people don't even uh, respond to these letters, so their license gets suspended. And <clears throat> the people who do, I'd say probably uh, probably a small percentage, maybe less than 50%, actually return the phone call or actually investigate and find out what actually happened. And if you don't, you end up paying a couple hundred more dollars, which makes them a couple hundred more dollars for basically hardly any any work from them. Anyway, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. 
but I was just sharing that thought if uh, if anybody has that same situation happen to them and it doesn't make sense if it doesn't make sense it don't make dollars and that don't make sense to me so anyway I'm glad that I was able to uh, keep from paying all these additional monies for nothing but I think a lot of those you people out there probably fell for that gimmick and uh, got your license suspended and had to go through that murder mur roll and probably some people got pulled over on a suspended license and went through a whole bunch of other stuff that was simply caused by a fundraiser by uh, Tallahassee so <clears throat> anyway I think uh, these fundraisers need to be stopped another thing I want to talk about is photo radar and uh, traffic light cameras we have one here in Orange Park in Jacksonville and uh, they make lots of money lots of money on that and the problem I have with it is <clears throat> the timing changes when during the day there is no delay between the yellow um, and, the, and the red like there's it goes green yellow red as, as fast as you can say green yellow red and then in later parts of the day when there's no traffic it is delayed so it's causing a lot of rear end collisions because a lot of times the delay happens and the driver in front slams the brakes on and then he gets rear ended because <clears throat> you're anticipating the light turning red immediately like, like it normally does but in different parts of the day the, the timing changes so it's kind of like sporadic you don't know if it's going to turn red you need to slam your brakes on there's no delay between the yellow and the red or um, there's going to be a huge delay so that the people behind you are not anticipating you to slam your brakes on so you end up getting rear-ended um, but since since the uh, the city is making so much money and a lot of their funding is based on the cameras and also another thing is the the city only gets about maybe 20 or 30 percent of the uh, total cost so basically, who, whatever firm is setting up the cameras and doing the paperwork, they're getting like almost 80% of the total revenue. So basically the taxpayers are getting ripped off. <laughs> they're, you know, it's just ridiculous. I think uh, if those cameras, um, the cameras are set up to basically uh, maximize the income potential um, of red light runners but the problem is which I, I'm, I'm fine with you know if it's a legitimate um, and the lights don't change but as soon as they install the red light cameras the timing changes the red <clears throat> there is no delay um, between the yellow and the, and the red you have no time at all as soon as that thing goes yellow it goes red so basically you have <clears throat> you increase your profit potential because there's tenths of a second or even a second loss maybe I would say anywhere from half a second to maybe one or two seconds that are lost and that's a huge increase in red light uh, tickets and a huge increase in revenue so it's not based on safety it's based on revenue and the revenue basically goes back to the company setting up the red light cameras. Only 20% uh, goes to the city. And <clears throat> there's no statistics that I, I'm aware of of all the rear end collisions and all the accidents that are caused. And I would believe that uh, the accidents that it causes and uh, <clears throat> those statistics would greatly increase as well so the revenue minus all the accidents that happen I like to see those statistics but uh, if you, I think there should be a law if there's a red light camera the timing cannot change you cannot decrease the timing to increase revenue that's fraud <laughs> it's downright fraud so anyway if anybody else has uh, noticed the timing change whenever uh, 
cameras are put up, red light cameras, and there's two situations. I've seen two in Orange Park that basically do that. They <clears throat> decrease the, uh, the, yellow, the yellow light time, and basically uh, the light turns red a lot faster, and it depends on uh, uh, traffic. The more traffic, that, the, that's when the, uh, they usually change the timing to increase revenue. Anyway, that's just my thought, and I wanted to know if anybody else uh, basically uh, found that information to be true as well. Please back me up on that. All right, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews. Watch out. Those cameras, they're going to get you because the timing changes, and the more money they can make, they don't care about accidents or rear-end collisions. They want revenue. So watch yourself. If you like this review, please crush the like button and subscribe. We're going to crack down on these cameras. It's fraud.